In this video, we are going to solve example on convolution sum using analytical method. So, we have given with the input signal x of n equal to 1, 2, 2, 1 with arrow placed at first 2 and the impulse response of system is given as h of n equal to 2, 0, 2. In this case, arrow is not given. So, in such cases, we need to assume that arrow will be placed at first element and this arrows indicates the origin of the element. To solve this numerical, first of all, write the equation for convolution sum which is y of n equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of k into h of n minus k. Now, in this analytical method, we have to find out the answer using this particular convolution sum equation. So, if you look at this convolution sum equation, we have x of k multiplied with h of n minus k. So, we have to first find out the limits for here k which represents the limit of summation and limits of n. So, these are simple steps to find out the limits. So, firstly, we will find out the limit for n. So, lower limit for n is simply given as lower limit of x of n plus lower limit of h of n. If you look at the given signals x and h arrow indicates the origin so it is at index 0 so towards left it is minus 1 towards right 1 and 2. Similarly for h of n arrow is at 0 1 and 2. So the lower limits of x are minus 1 and lower limit of h is 0 so simply it is minus 1 similarly upper limit of n is equal to upper limit of x of n plus upper limit of h of n so it is equal to in both the cases upper limits are 2 and 2 so 2 plus 2 which is 4 Therefore, n will start at minus 1 and end at 4. So, n will have values, discrete values, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, we need to find out limits of k. Limits of k is very simple. It is simply equal to limits of x of n. So, x of n signal starts at minus 1 and ends at 2. So, these are the limits of k. Here, k will start at minus 1 and end at 2 means it will have discrete values minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So, we have to put up these values in the summation and evaluate the convolution sum. So, assuming first the value of n equal to, so n starts at minus 1 and ends at 4, k starts at minus 1, ends at 2. So, k is the limit of summation and n we have the limit as y of n. So, putting this value in the equation, so n starting at minus 1 so, our y of minus 1 will be equal to summation. Now, the k has limits minus 1 to 2 x of k into h of n minus k. But again, here the value of n, value of n is equal to minus 1. Therefore, this n will be replaced by minus 1. So, this is our base equation for condition n equal to minus 1. So, just substitute or expand this summation. So, it becomes x of minus 1 into h of minus 1 minus of minus 1 plus x of 0. So, k is incremented 
h of minus 1 minus 0 plus x of 1 h of minus 1 minus 1 plus x of 2 h of minus 1 minus 2 now substitute the values of all these variables so first we'll let us simplify it so it becomes x of minus 1 into h of so minus 1 minus minus of 1 becomes plus 1 so it becomes 0 plus x of 0 into h of minus 1 plus x of 1 into h of minus 2 plus x of 2 into h of minus 3. So, from the given equation, we have x of minus 1 as 1, h of 0 as 2, plus x of 0 is 2 into h of minus 1. We do not have value of h at minus 1. So, this value if this value doesn't exist, it means it is 0. So, it is 0 plus we have x of 1 as 2 into h of minus 2 doesn't exist. So, 0 plus x of 2 is 1 and h of minus 3 doesn't exist, it means 0. So, we get value of y at minus 1 which is equal to 2. So, this is the first evaluation. Similarly, now increment the value of n. So, n becomes 0. So, find out y of 0 equal to summation k ranges from minus 1 to 2 x of k into h of n is 0. So, 0 minus k. So, again expand this summation. So, it becomes x of minus 1 into h of minus 1 minus 1 becomes now plus 1. So, I will directly write h of 1 plus x of 0 h of 0 plus x of 1 h of minus 1 plus x of 2 h of minus 2. So, again substitute the values x of minus 1 is 1 h of 1. So, if you look at again the value of h at 1 it is 0 plus x of 0 is 2 plus h of 0 is also 2 plus x of 1 is 2 h of minus 1 doesn't exist so 0 x of 2 is 1 h of minus 2 doesn't exist so 0 therefore y of 0 is equal to 4 similarly we need to find out the values for n equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. For n equal to 1, if we evaluate this summation, we get y of 1 is equal to 6. For n equal to 2, if we evaluate this summation, we get y of 2 equal to 6. Similarly, for n equal to 3, we get y of 3 equal to 4. And finally, n equal to 4, we get y of 4 equal to 2. Therefore, we have started the value of n from minus 1, which was the starting or the lower limit of n and ended at 4. So, if we represent y of n, we get the final answer y of n as
टू फोर सिक्स सिक्स फोर टू एंड द एरो विल बी प्लेस्ड एट फोर एंड वी नीड टू ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम सो दिस इज टाइम एक्सिस इट इज वाई ऑफ एन सो दिस इज नॉट टी एज वी आर इन द डिस्क्रीट डोमेन इट शुड बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई एन जीरो इट स्टार्ट एट माइनस वन सो मार्क द एक्सिस पॉइंट जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो ऑन वाई एक्सिस वी नीड टू मार्क द एम्पलीट्यूड लेट से टू फोर एंड सिक्स सो दिस वाई ऑफ एन सिग्नल इज टू एट माइनस वन एट जीरो इट इज फोर एट वन इट इज सिक्स एट टू इट इज सिक्स एट थ्री इट इज फोर and at 4 it is again 2 so this completes the entire numerical so it is a repetitive kind of thing for different values of n we need to evaluate the summation of convolution sum and to find out this summation we need the limits of n and k so this completes with the entire numerical for convolution sum using analytical method